Let's convert a decimal number to binary. Let's start off with the decimal number 15. And I want to convert it to a binary number. There's a method called the divide by 2 method. And this is on page 8 in your book. If we use the divide by 2 method, I would start off with the number 15 and then I would divide it by 2. Now you know that 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7. 7 times 2 is 14, so we've got a remainder of 1. Then I would go 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1, so we've got a remainder once again of 1. Then I'd go 3 divided by 2. 2 will go into 3 one time. And that'll have a remainder of 1. And when we get to the 1 divided by 2, you see 2 won't go into 1. So we have that remaining 1 left over. Now this will be my least significant bit. This will be my most significant bit. Which means I would start writing with my most significant bit 1. And then we got 1, 1, 1. So the decimal number 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1 in binary. Let's take the number 18 decimal and we want to convert this to binary. We'll start off with 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Therefore, there is no remainder. 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So we have a remainder. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so there is no remainder. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so there is no remainder. And then 1 divided by 2, we can't do that, so we have a remainder of 1. Remember, this is my least significant bit. This would be my most significant bit. So starting with my most significant bit, 18 decimal would equal 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. If we do sum of weights, you'll see that we've got a 2 plus 16 equals 18.